Peace and blessings, everyone. Alafia, this is Osho Muiwa, um, also known as Mama Magical to some of you. Um, so this video is very important to me. It means a lot to me. Um, people have been requesting that I make a video or at least take some time to talk about this subject for some time now. So um, the repeated question that I continue to get is uh, Mama Magical, how can I find a trusted spiritual mentor, teacher, guide, or godparent? You guys, this is one of the most important decisions you will ever make on your spiritual journey. The person that you choose to be your spiritual guide, mentor, ideally, this person should be with you for a very long time. It is usually a for life relationship. And I'm very serious about that. Um, I composed the list, guys. So if you see me looking down, I'm just reading off my list because I didn't want to skip a beat. I didn't want to miss anything while, while talking about this topic because it is very important, you know, that people do not go in to these spiritual communities blind. Do not go in blind. You will not know everything, but you should come in well equipped with some type of foundational knowledge. So the first, um, the first thing that I wrote down is take your time. I mentioned this in another video. Take your time. Don't be so quick to try to um, go under somebody's wing or join someone's um, spiritual house, Ile. Um, just because you're anxious and you're overzealous, take your time. I would say at least spend, yes, one year. <laughs> one year getting to know this person. Um, yes, one. I'm going to reiterate that. One, At least one year because you need to see this person in all their seasons. You need to see how they interact with people. You need to see how people interact with them. You need to be observant in that time. It is very, very important because people tend to show you who they are early on it's us that you know sometimes we have our blinders on like i said we're excited and we just choose to overlook certain things but never overlook anything if something feels off you need to make sure that you are considering that check your references check their references check their mentees see how they interact with their students that they already have do they have nice things to say about them are they hesitant, you know, if you ask them a question about, you know, their experience, you know, read body language with them. You run it, you will find a lot <laughs> getting to know the people that um, have already had some sort of relationship with that person. You know, not even the people that are currently with that person, but even people that may have once um, at one time been a student of that person. You kind of want to, you know, go around and asking, you know, questions to different people. That's very, very important. Background check and a reference. Who are their mentors? Who are they? Who are their elders? Who have? Who has taught them? Because you want to make sure that the person you choose to mentor you actually knows something themselves. That's very important. It's a lot of spiritual imposters in this community, y'all. I'm telling you, it's not even funny. It's a lot of fake spiritual gurus in this community. Number three, ask questions talk to them you have a right there's this thing where people think that you know they don't you know they they can't ask so many questions you know they just want to be quiet mute and meek but it's very important that you ask all the questions early on so you won't be left guessing later on are they agitated do they have time to answer your questions pay attention to all those type of things um because you will be needing a lot of guidance you will be needing, uh, you might not get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with that person, but you, and, and let me mention that. That's another thing I want to mention. Every teacher is not an educator. Every mentor is not there to teach you. You have some, some of these mentors and teachers are, are there just to guide you, but not teach you. So that's very important. What kind of mentor do you want to have? Do you want to have someone that's going to help you, you know, to learn to uh, is do you want someone to have time to train you in things all of those things are very very important to consider right 
because some of these mentors have a lot of people that they care for and you know it might they might have good intentions but their schedule is just so busy they might not have time to give you that one-on-one -on -one, you know especially if they're you know older you know things like that those are the type of things that you need to think of for yourself and consider for yourself also make sure you participate in the things that they already have going on participate to their functions Go to their ceremonies, the ones that you're invited to at least. Just get a good feel of how they operate, how they function in their realm. That's very important. Do, do you feel comfortable? Um, are you welcome? Is there a welcoming feeling? All those things will mean something. So make sure you participate in as, as many things, events, and functions that they have going on. So now that I kind of talked about some of those things, I want to get on the darker side of things. The, the not so pretty side of things that people tend to experience that leave a bad taste in their mouth. Number one, no sexual advances is ever, ever okay. No sexual advances is ever okay. It is never, never, ever okay for anyone to make you feel uncomfortable, for anyone to have any sexual um, attraction towards you like that. That's not okay. Know that. <laughs> that's definitely inappropriate and you want to nip that in the bud early on period it's never okay isolation does that person isolate you from other people do they make you feel that you have some sort of alliance with them and you can't talk to anyone else inside, outside of you know their realm their their mentees their house that's another thing be very very careful for that that's suspect um, the next one is possessive. Are they possessive over you? Do they not allow other people to talk to you? Do they feel like they have to be, you know, you know, almost like someone that's just always over you all the time, you know, micromanaging your relationships with everyone else in that community? That's not okay. You know, be very, very careful with that. And um, I also want to mention this as well. Get an outside reading. Have someone read on this potential relationship with your spiritual mentor someone that is not in that house that is very important it's not anyone that they even recommend find some it don't even have to be you know in the same um <laughs> you know spiritual or religious um sect that you're a part of just a diviner that can kind of read on the energies around the situations the potential outcomes even the compatibility between you and that person guys divination can save you um, from, from a lot of heartache, you know, always have someone read on that potential connection. And I do want to say that um, that's not always a bad thing if you don't gel well with the person. You know, we are all humans. We have a lot of different personalities and everyone is not going to mix. You're not going to be everyone's cup of tea, you know. So that's, I just, do, I do want to say that that's not always a bad thing. If it comes out in that divination that you and that person just won't work well, it could be for so many reasons. They just may simply not have the time to empower you in the way that you're looking for. So that's very, very important. I would also say um, in that reading, ask them, is it okay? Especially for people that's in the Ifa uh, and the Orisha community, ask, is it okay? In that reading, can you join their Ile? Is it okay for you to be a God child of that teacher, of that Baba, that Ianifa? that madrina that padrino just make sure that it's okay for you to be their godchild and for you to join their ele those are two specific questions you know that you really want to make sure that you gain some spiritual insight on that's very very important also um for the last 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 thing i want to say trust your gut trust your inner self trust your ori trust your ancestors they are there to guide you go in this thing join anytime you join a, um, any type of spiritual tradition community background whatever join come in join hand in hand with your ancestors have a solid foundation with your egun your ori your um inner divinity knowing who you are already because if you don't know who you are other people will define you do not lose yourself in this spiritual community go in solid with your own spirit solid with your own ancestors they will guide you they will protect you 
So I love you guys. Just a quick list. If you have any questions for me, Mama Magical is here. Thank you all. Peace and blessings.